Hello and welcome to your AI Weekly Debrief for the week ending July 20th, 2025. My name is Arun and we have started watching the AI with Arun show. Let's dive in. Our first stop takes us into the fascinating realm of quantum computing. This week marked a monumental partnership announced on July 17th, 2025 between Oxford Ionics and Iceberg Quantum. Their collaboration is set to significantly advance the field of fault-tolerant quantum computing. Now, for those who are less familiar, fault-tolerant quantum computing is a crucial concept. Imagine trying to build a super complex machine where every tiny error could throw off the entire calculation. Quantum computers are incredibly delicate, and the qubits, the very basic units of quantum information, are prone to errors. Fault tolerance means designing systems that can detect and correct these errors, making quantum computers reliable enough for real-world applications. This partnership is specifically focused on developing the architecture for Oxford Ionics, utility scale systems, which would use something called LTPC, or low-density parity check codes, a method for error correction. This collaboration is not just a technical win. It's a strategic validation of Iceberg Quantum's approach. It brings us one of the experimental setups often confined to labs to truly and scalable quantum technology. This is the potential of quantum computing. Next up, we have exciting news from Mistral AI as they continue to enhance the lead chat platform with a suite of impressive new features. Lead chat now includes a vocal mode powered by the new Voxtral voice model allowing for more natural and intuitive spoken interactions. For those really digging deep into the complex topics, the deep research mode will be invaluable, enabling more thorough inquiry. And for sophisticated problem solving, the think mode leverages the magistral reasoning model, promising more coherent and insightful responses. Beyond these, they have produced projects, feature to help users organize related chats, streamlining workflows, and improving productivity. And in a creative leap, LeechAd now offers advanced image editing capabilities thanks to a partnership with Black Forest Labs. These updates collectively make LeechAd a much more versatile and powerful AI assistant. Moving on, we are seeing a AI is truly going mainstream, shifting from experimental concepts to practical deployable solutions in the enterprise. A key announcement this week was Automation Anywhere, launching its AI agents in a new AWS marketplace category on July 16, 2025. This is a huge step for accessibility and adoption. These aren't just generic bots. We're talking about specialized enterprise AI agents designed for specific high value tasks. Examples include a financial report analyst, a technology copywriter, a sentiment analysis agent, and even a talent scouting agent. Imagine the efficiency gains that can bring to businesses. The integration with AWS streamlined procurement to existing AWS accounts, which will significantly accelerate the adoption of these powerful AI tools across various industries. This move democratizes access to sophisticated AI, making it easier for companies to leverage these capabilities. And speaking of agentic AI, OpenAI has also made a massive leap with the release of the ChatGPT agent. This is a sophisticated AI system capable of completing complex tasks autonomously, meaning without human intervention, once given a goal. What makes this truly remarkable are its advanced capabilities. This agent combines deep research functionalities with web browse, allowing it to navigate websites, generate presentations, run code, and perform intricate multi-step workflows. Think of it as a highly capable digital personal assistant that can execute projects from start to finish. This powerful new feature was released on July 17, 2025, and is available to Pro, Plus, and Team subscribers. It represents a significant step towards more autonomous and proactive AI systems that can take on substantial workloads. Shifting gears to cybersecurity, Google has unveiled a groundbreaking tool called Big Sleep, launched on July 16, 2025. This advanced AI system is designed to proactively detect and neutralize cyber threats. Big Sleep's capabilities are impressive. It can identify and disable dormant web domains that are vulnerable to exploitation, preventing attacks before they even start. 
It also constantly analyzes domain behavior and flags any suspicious changes, acting as an early warning system for potential breaches. This is about staying ahead of cyber criminals rather than just reacting to attacks. Developed by Google DeepMind and Project Zero, this leap has already proven its worth. It successfully foiled an imminent exploit targeting SQLite, clearly demonstrating its preventative capabilities. This is a significant advancement in AI-powered cybersecurity, offering a new layer of defense against increasingly sophisticated threats. Now let's look at AI's impact in healthcare, specifically at Endo 2025 conference. The simple mobile AI retina tracker or smart application is making waves with its impressive performance in detecting diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of vision loss and early detection is crucial. The smart application leverages deep learning to analyze retinal fundus images. It boasts an incredible 99% accuracy rate in detecting this condition and can perform the analysis in less than one second per image. The speed and accuracy are truly revolutionary. What's even more significant is its accessibility. The smart application works through internet connected devices, including everyday smartphones. This means that potentially millions of people, even in remote areas, could have access to early sight threatening disease without needing specialized expensive equipment. It's a fantastic example of AI democratizing healthcare. In the financial sector, Lloyds Bank is showcasing the power of internal AI with their Athena AI tool. This tool acts as a knowledge hub, helping staff navigate through approximately 13,000 internal information articles. Imagine the time saved for employees looking for specific policies or procedures. The efficiency gains are substantial. Athena has reduced search time for staff from a staggering 59 seconds down to just 20 seconds. While this might not sound a lot per search, multiply that across thousands of employees and millions of queries, and you're looking at massive productivity improvements. The impact on customers is even more direct and impressive. By streamlining internal processes, Lloyds Bank has been able to cut wait time by two thirds for its 28 million customers. This is a clear demonstration of how internal AI tools can indirectly but powerfully enhance customer experience and operational efficiency. Microsoft Copilot is also receiving a significant vision upgrade with its new desktop share feature. This is a game changer for real-time assistance and productivity. Previously, Copilot was limited to viewing and analyzing individual applications. With desktop share, it can now view and analyze a user's entire desktop, offering real-time contextual help across multiple programs simultaneously. Imagine Copilot not just assisting in Word, but understanding your workflow as a switch between your browser, your spreadsheets, and emails. It's manual activation and explicit permission from users, ensuring privacy and control. But once enabled, Copilot can offer suggestions, analyze visual content, and even provide coaching aloud, guiding you through complex tasks across your entire digital workspace. This is a major step towards a truly intelligent and integrated digital assistant. Shifting to the political and economic landscape, we are seeing massive investments in AI. President Donald Trump has announced a substantial $92 billion AI investment package, underscoring the national priority placed on AI development. A significant portion of this comes from Google with a $25 billion commitment to build AI-ready data centers in Pennsylvania and surrounding regions. This investment will provide the crucial infrastructure to power the next generation of AI technologies. Blackstone is also contributing over 25 billion for new data centers and critically, energy infrastructure. This highlights a key challenge of the AI boom. The immense electricity demands of these powerful systems. Upgrading energy grids is now a national priority to meet this escalating demand. The overall package reflects a clear strategic goal, maintaining US leadership in AI development and its increasing global competition. It's proactive move to ensure America remains at the forefront of this transformative technology. Continuing on the theme of national interest, the Pentagon is also deeply invested in AI. The Department of Defense Chief Digital and Artificial Intelligence Office, or CDAO, has awarded significant contracts to four major US-based companies. These companies are Anthropic, Google, OpenAI, 
and Elon Musk's XAI. Each is positioned to receive up to $200 million. This is a clear signal of the DOD's commitment to leveraging the best commercial AI expertise for national security. The strategic goals of these partnerships are multifaceted. To accelerate the military integration of advanced AI, develop what they call agentic AI workflows for national security applications, and enhance these companies' understanding of critical security requirements. This collaboration aims to ensure that cutting-edge AI can be safely and effectively deployed for defense purposes. Finally, let's examine the evolving landscape of AI regulation, a critical aspect as AI technologies become more pervasive globally. In Europe, the European Commission's AI Office published the EU AI Code of Practice on July 16th. This code is designed to help businesses comply with the sweeping EU AI Act, providing much-needed guidance for implementation. In the US, we are seeing a shift at the state level. The removal of the moratorium on state AI laws from the Budget Reconciliation Package, HR1, means we are likely to see a patchwork of varying state-level laws emerge. This could create complexities for businesses operating across different states. Globally, the BRICS nation, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and the new members are actively pushing for more inclusive international frameworks for AI governance moving beyond what they perceive as Western-centric approaches. This highlights the diverse perspectives and geopolitical considerations in AI regulation. And looking ahead, we anticipate the release of the White House AI Action Plan by July 23, 2025, which is expected to outline President Trump's vision for American AI dominance. This plan will likely set the tone for future federal policies and initiatives in the US AI space. That wraps up our AI weekly debrief for the week ending July 20th, 2025. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to bringing you more updates next week. Like, share, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments below.